Part 1. Readying your horse for picking. Step 1. Calm the horse. Before you can start, you have to make sure your horse is calm. You should also make sure your horse does not wander off. You need to start in a calm area because it is not possible to get your horse to stand on three legs if there is a lot of excitement around him. Step 2. Start on one side. When you approach the horse, introduce yourself and let the horse know you have good intentions. Give him gentle strokes on his neck and shoulder and speak to him softly. Stand near the shoulder of one side and turn your body to face his tail. When you plant yourself next to your horse, have your outside leg slightly in front of the other for better balance and efficient maneuvering. Step 3. Warn the horse. When you are firmly standing beside him, run your hand down your horse's leg, then tap at the back of his leg. This should warn the horse what you are about to do, which will give him time to square himself up. Step 4. Lift his leg. Once he is settled, give your horse time to lift his foot. If the horse doesn't automatically pick up the leg at the first command, have patience and be gentle as this can take some convincing. If he will still not pick up his leg, gently lean against his shoulder. If all other attempts to get him to lift his leg have failed, gently squeeze the chestnut, which is the hard overgrowth above the knee on the inside of the leg. Step 5. Support the hoof. Once you get him to raise his foot, hold the hoof in one hand. Step 6. Relax your pull. Part 2. Picking your horse's hoof. Step 1. Remove material from the frog. Once you have the horse's hoof in your hand, you can start the picking process. Begin by removing any material from the frog. The frog sometimes shreds. If it looks tatty or ragged, gently tug at it with your fingers. If it doesn't come away, if necessary, call a qualified farrier or hoof trimmer to trim it for you. If the frog is flaky, never be tempted to cut it back yourself. Step 2. Clean the hoof. When cleaning, use the point of the hoof pick to gently loosen any stones and pry them free. Never dig the point into the sole or hoof. Step 3. Examine the horn. Step 4. Pay particular attention to sensitive areas. Much like the horn, you need to check to make sure the frog looks dry. Place your palm over the frog to make sure it is not hot. Step 5. Check hoof health. Once you have gotten all the debris out of the hoof, you have checked the horn and the frog. You need to make sure the hoof is in good shape. Step 7. Apply conditioner if necessary. If your horse's hoof is extremely dried out, feels overly rough, or is in need of conditioning, add some hoof conditioner. Hey guys, so I'm actually in my parents' room right now doing a vlog style outro. This is also a brand new series of mine called WikiHow Teaches Me How. There's a lot of really, really random tutorials on WikiHow that are related to horses. I'm gonna do videos on me following WikiHow's tutorials to a T. So yeah, this one was how to pick a horse's hoof, and there's so many more. The link is in the description to the WikiHow post on how to pick a horse's hoof. Tell me how I did in comparison to the photos. I don't know, I think I did pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Hey guys, so I'm actually in my parents' right room. Hi Dave, I have an emergency. There's a flab of, there's a flab of dried, hi Dave, I have an emergency.